Welcome to Rootstem Gaming, and in this game we've got an Imperial Soup Army. Well, I'm saying Imperial Soup, Space Marines and Guard versus Gene Steel Cult in a city fight. And we are going to be using the city fight rules from 2018's chapter approved. So the mission we're doing is a bit of a hybrid. We've got the city fight terrain, of course. Uh, all nicely set up, laid out. These are the older buildings. I do have one of the newer buildings in the middle. And it's cousins coming along nicely. We'll be able to get some battle reports with both with both the new pieces of terrain in there. But we've still got plenty of the old pieces of terrain. Good in this bad boy. If anyone remembers the old school Necromunda plastics. That's what we've done with them. We've got a couple of different missions. We're mainly going to be using open place. We're not using any of the narrative missions. We're using the city fight rules. We're using the city fight stratagems. But we are not going to be doing the city fight missions. We're going to be doing something completely different. We're going to be using the open play cards. Five turns. And uh, that's basically going to give us our objectives for the day. So if you're familiar with open play cards, you actually get a deployment card. We've got this one, um, so we're going to be head-to-head -head in a nose. That's going to be quite interesting on this battlefield. The objective we've got is drawn and quartered. So basically, we have to place down two objectives. Anyone on a battlefield more than 12 inch away from the table edge, more than 6 inch away and 18 inches away from any other objective marker. So that means they're pretty much going to be in quarters. At the end of a turn, a player scores one victory point for each objective marker they control. The player with the most victory points at the end of the fifth battle round is the winner. And of course, if you get wiped out, we do continue. So getting wiped out, if you end up with more victory points, is more beneficial than just wiping your opponent out. But we've also taken the twist cards. We don't use the ruses very often because they can really unbalance the game. But we are playing with the twist cards and we've got Grudge Match. These two forces hate each other. So... Units will not be taking any morale tests in this game at all. So those are our objectives. So we've got basically got four objectives on the tabletop. We'll let you know what these are. Uh, and we'll take you now to some forces. So this is 2,000, not isn't, it's 1,500. Sorry, apologies. 1,500 point of Gene Steeler Cult. It's two battalions. And I'm using some of my guard as the Brood Brother elements. Um... And apologies already for non-painted figures. This is simply because I'm doing that many commissions at the moment. I've actually not had time to paint my own miniatures. But I am going to get around to that soon. Right. Now, these are going to be my four HQs. Two battalions, so I've got four HQs. We're going to have a Warlord here. This is going to be the one with the uh, Warlord trait that pluses one to his attack, strength, and various other different characteristics. And then, of course, I believe it's the Elixir of... Uh, not the Elixir. Amulet of the Void Worm. Sorry, apologies. That's what I'm taking it as the relic. I'm not taking any additional relics in this one. Um, I have got Might from Beyond, and of course, um, I think you can take two. So it'll be Mass Hypnosis and Might from Beyond on him. And the same on the uh, the Magos guy as well. Standard Magos. These are just mainly the figures that you get within the set. I've got an Icon Ward as well. Uh, he's just going to have a standard normal icon, so allowing people to be able to get back up. Um, troop choices wise we've got six we've got my old school very old school i built these before the gene steeler cult army came out for a campaign that me and mills ran in fourth edition 40k sorry for the camera wobble um these guys have uh, it's 14 men uh with two flamers and a sergeant with well not sergeant it's a leader so those are going to be your standard uh, hybrids same with these this unit here this is a unit 16 guy with the big red trousers is the uh, leader on that squad. Uh, two grenade launchers and of course two mining lasers. Then I've got 16 of these. Uh, these are the proper, what I call proper hybrids. Uh, and of course you've got your your standard lash whip and bone sword, you've got your rock drill, your rock saw, your rock cutter and a guy with demolitions. We've then got three units of Brood Brothers armed with plasma rocket, plasma, oh no that one's grenade launcher rocket, and then plasma rocket. Backing those up is 20 stealers. Now I've only gone for a unit of 20 because it's 300 points for a unit of 20 at the time of actually recording this. 15 points a model, it gets a little expensive. And back up is going to be a Lehman Rust battle tank, apologies for a non-paint job. That's got three heavy flamers. And of course, the standard battle cannon. If you've watched the previous two battle reports, you probably know what I'm going to be doing with this. And then I've got three armoured sentinels, all individual, with two heavy flamers and one last cannon. The cult I am taking is the Cult of a Twisted Helix. 
So all of my other units, except the Brewbubbers and Gene Steelers, will get a plus one to the advanced rolls and a plus one strength. Right, let's take you to the opposing army. Right, we've got Ads back on the channel. Hey, up. Hey. And he's bringing some, a lot of unpainted toys. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> he ran out. He was actually trying to paint them, as you can see, because he's taking some Raptors, but he ran out of Death Guard for his base code. Mm -hmm. So he's had to go and get some more this morning. Otherwise, they would have been painted. Maybe not his guard, no, they wouldn't but they wouldn't be. <laughs> so come on then, sir, what, what are we rocking? So today we are rocking a um, battalion detachment yep. uh, Raptors chapter, which All I'm right. using the um, Raven Guard yep. rules. Got a captain, yep. a lieutenant. <laughs> lieutenant? It's <laughs> lieutenant. Uh, Apocryphy. Yep. Um, and a company ancient, if I'm correct. Yeah, company yeah, yeah. champion. No, no. Yeah, company, company ancient. ancient. Yeah, yeah. Rocking what I like to do there with the uh, old support. Five man squad of scouts. Yep. All four with sniper rifles, one with missile. Yep. Um, five man intercessor. Yep. All same. Five man intercessor. Yep. All same. Hell blasters. All the same. Uh, squad of devastators. Yep. Captain with a sergeant. Uh, sergeant with a uh, yeah. <laughs> professional. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Ruined it. Uh, captain with a plasma gun. Yeah. Uh, well, combi plas. Sorry. Yeah. Um, two las, two plas, and I've got a. What about the pregnant dreadnought. Oh yeah, redemptive dreadnought. <laughs> Wizzy wig. Yeah, yeah. Um, the spearhead. spearhead that's it. That's the one. Uh, Astra militarum. Yep. Is just a squad of mortars. Yep. A squad of missiles. Yep. Commissar yep. and a Lehman Russ with double plasma and las. And he's had to borrow the commissar from me because he forgot his, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, apologies for unpainted toys. It's going to look semi unprofessional, but not bothered. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need to record games and other people are not available. So uh, but we're also testing it out as well. So it's another reason why it's not fully painted is because you don't really want to know how it wants to progress with the army. Right, we've seen the uh, objectives. Uh, what? Sorry, what warlord and relic are you rocking, by the way? Um, I'm not too sure yet. So what's your warlord? <laughs> uh, my warlord is my captain. Yeah. He's having the burning blade. Yeah. Um, and he is having the iron resolve. Iron resolve, no problem. Uh, continuity there. <laughs> right, a little bit mate. of a pause. A little yeah. bit of a pause. A little bit of a break. Right, let's get set up and let's get cracking. So we've set up on the board. Those that seen my other two previous Gene Steeler Cult videos know flip markers. And Ads is put down, a couple of units down here. We've got his captain right at the front. He's really wanting to kill some alien scum. Unit of intercessors behind him and, of course, the uh, pregnant, pregnant dread. dread. <laughs> Hell blasters down on the floor down here. And you've got the banner guy and the devastators up top. Good position and placement of the banner guy. And then we've got an apothecary that can run either way to try and rescue some men. The guard are trying to hold the middle. Commissar there, oh boys. Because of a twist that we've actually drawn with no morales, his abilities are a bit useless this game, but uh, he's there to try and protect his own lads. A couple of heavy weapons teams, and of course the Lehman Rust sat parked over there. And a big chunk of these guys, you've got the scouts and the other intercessors, plus the lieutenant, <laughs> <laughs> um, sat waiting. Waiting for the Gene Steelers to turn up, because he doesn't know what's happening. He doesn't know where anyone is. I've left my dice on that we marked out the uh, deployment zone with because I'm not allowed to be put outside of that deployment zone. So let's grab a dice. Let's roll. And let's see who goes first. I've got a six. Adam has also got a six. He got his units down first, so he gets a plus one. So he gets a choice of first or second turn. What would you like, sir? Um, Bear in mind, if you go first, I can attempt to seize. Whereas if you go second, I have to go first and can't choose not to. I'll go first. He's going first. I'm going to attempt, and I don't do it. So Ads is going first. So we're going to be going into Space Marines, turn one. All right, so Adam's done his movement. This is his current view, and this is what he's now facing. So we've got the unit of uh, Acolyte, um, Acolyte on the FI, one of the hybrid squads down here with the mining lasers. Brew Brothers in the building, backed up by a couple of the Sentinels with Heavy Flamer. And we've then got the Lehman Rust Battle Tank, 
another unit of broods, the Primus, the Banabera, another unit, and then on his own, some over there is the Sentinel with the last cannon. The rest of the four, the rest of my units are in reserve. So we're now going to go into Adam's shooting phase. So we've done a bit of small arms fire for now. Adam's intercessors here, open fire, as well as his scout snipers and his captain, which actually is back here, have opened fire into this unit of uh, Brood Brothers, managed to take out about four guys so far. The minuses to hit and the increased armor saves are coming quite useful. Now he's gonna fire the rocket. It can see the Lehman Rust, but it is obscured, so it's a minus one to hit. So he does hit, and he does need a four plus to hurt it. Command point? Yes. What yep. Command point. Go on in, sir. And he still fails, bounces off. So he's now down to 8 CP. So the intercessors from here are now opening fire into the Brood Brothers on this part here. They are obscured, so it's going to be a minus one to hit. But we are using, we're trying out the beta rapid fire rules. Um, so he's going to get two shots per man because they stood still. So he's basically got 10 shots, needing fours. Some pretty good shooting techs. Definitely some good shooting. In fact, the minus has only really saved him from one shot. Needing freeze to wound, and he's got a lieutenant within six, so he can reroll ones. Oh my god! <laughs> so the ones that he failed with, he gets to reroll with. One, two, three, four. So that's going to be six saves. Uh, he's got no height advantage because we're pretty much on the same height. I've got a plus two for it being ruined, so I'm on a three plus and a minus one for the bolt weapons. So it's going to need fours. I only save two, so I'll lose another three men. So his rockets down here, if you can just see them, they're going to open fire now into this unit here. Now, a couple of my guys are actually out there, and you can see them clearly, so there's going to be no minuses to hit. But he has moved with these heavy weapons, so it's going to be fires to hit, but he needs to roll to see how many shots we've got. Re roll that one there. Yeah, that's cocked. There you go. So that's going to be nine. Oh, two. Only two. Well, it is guard. <laughs> I need four, uh, no, freeze to wound because the rocket is strength four. Both. Both of them. There's no minus. I am in hard cover, so I'm going to need freeze to save. And I still lose a, a guy. So for the arm. So one of those is down. Right, so the mortars are going to open up. They're opening up into this squad down here. He's already rolled for shots. He's only got six. And because he's firing indirect, it's always counted as an obscure target. So it's going to be minus ones to hit. He's going to need fives. He's got one. one. <laughs> Great stuff. City fight having a good effect on this here. No wounds on that either. You've still got your Lehman Rust to go. And, and you've still got your Devastators. And you've still got this pregnant bad boy. Arnold Schwarzenegger in junior. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we'll, just, we'll just call any of those dreadnoughts now called Arnold. Sorry, I've made myself laugh on that one. What's happening? Uh, the Lehman Rust yep. is going to punish this bat. He's going to try and fire upon his counterpart. So we've had a look. He has moved his full movement. It is a minus one to hit. His battle cannon is rolled a d6. It's got three shots. Needing fives to hit. Oh, oh he's missed. It's because of the obscured target. Uh, he's got his last cannon and his plasmas, but they need sixes to hit. Uh, do you want to do your last cannon first? Yeah, last that misses, and then 2d3 shots from his plasma. I'm guessing you're not overcharging. Because any ones and threes, any ones to three will effectively be over <laughs> an overload. 2d threes. Yeah. Uh, that's four shots, not bad. Still need sixes though. He's got a hit. One. He needs a five to wound. No. No. One. Bounces off. Or splashes harmlessly against it. Devis. Now it's on to his devastators. So we've measured some ranges, his plasmas are going to fire first, are they firing at the infantry did you say? Yes. Uh, they're going to need force to hit because of the obscuring. Two. It's two. He didn't over declare overcharge, there's no point because it's twos to wound. Yep, both wounded, I'm in hard cover so it makes me a three up armour with a minus three so I need sixes. Whoa. Oh, I do save one. And then the two last cannons, he is going to have one of the last cannons as the ballistic skill two. So, Everyone's red one. Skill two, yep. and let's go. So, one of them missed. He's already used a command point this phase. He needs a three to wound. 
It does. I need a six to save. I don't. D6 damage, sir. Come on, six. No, three. Reduces that down to nine. Last but not least is Redemptor Dreadnought. It's firing out this door and he's going to try and take on the Brood Brothers. Uh, it's a heavy six. Now he has moved and when he's shooting the Brood Brothers, they are obscured. So it's going to be another minus one. So it's going to be fives to hit. He gets to re-roll his ones. Doesn't score any ones. Only scored one hit, actually. Ooh. Damn. City fight, definitely good for non shooting eyes. Strength five needs a three. And minus? It's uh, minus one. Minus one. And on a three plus, makes it a four plus. I actually save for the heavy cover. Next would be the. Now, he also fired his Icarus Stone Pod, but there's another minus one there, so he would have needed sixes to hit and didn't hit anything. Not a lot of casualties. I've probably lost one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine models this round of shooting. No morales to take, because of course, the grudge match. Uh, but at the end of the turn, Ads will get one point for that one. And I believe you were in three of that, we'll check that in a minute. But another point for that. So Ads will be up two points to zero at the end of his turn. So, units have shifted forward, they haven't. Uh, but these guys have ran forward. Unfortunately, I couldn't get everybody into the cover. So it does mean that my first couple of shots is probably going to kill some guys. Um, no one's really moved around here apart from he's run out of the way, trying to avoid some heavy weapons fire. They have stayed still and the Sentinels move around to try and get a shot on the Lehman Russ, but it might be a six needed. My Lehman Russ has just hurtled forward and can see his unsuspecting captain through that window. So it might be some heavy flame of death for him because he is the closest. And then, of course, this unit's gone. That unit has moved forward to try and heavy flame some of the Primaris Marines in here. These guys have used Auspex Scan on my unit that turned up within three inch because I did uh, it came from below. So I can't charge, but it does mean that they're within three inches, so I'm gonna be able to do some shooting. And uh, he took out five with his Overwatch shots, didn't overcharge, shame. And then here, we've got perfect ambush with Gene Steelers. So they're only six inches away because they've got to move a three from these units here looks like they're about ready to uh take you out pal it's take you out and then the patriarch is down here as well he tried to cast some psychic powers and fail just so you guys know i did spend a command point on first curse on these and got a three so they are plus in one to the uh, advance and charge rolls right it's not going to be a big big glorious shooting phase but let's get to it so as not to bore you guys we've done a bit that heavy flame of air is not in range of any of the Primaris Marines. We did a little bit of shooting off camera. Um, and because of the minus one and then the further minus one, if he's 12 and 12 inches away from the Raven Guard, I've meant that I basically didn't hit anything. I did manage to hit one of these with an overcharged plasma gun and kill it, but that's it. Everything else is either fired at a tank or fired. Uh, that unit's open fire. They did nothing. They did nothing. They've done nothing. Uh, but now, I fired the battle cannon so far from the Lehman Russ into his Lehman Russ. I missed, but now it's three heavy flamers, which are now going to auto hit his captain. So that's six. That's 12 automatic hits. Freeze to wound. That's going to be five. Oh, quite a lot of ones and twos there. Seven. Now, he's in heavy uh, uh, cover. So it's going to be a two plus, well, it's going to be a one plus armor plus the minus one for my weapon. So in actual fact, it's still going to be saving on twos. Fives, five is it? And it's seven. Right. Seven saves needing two pluses. I'm not going to kill this guy unless he really fluffs it. Now, he just goes, what flame? I didn't see any. Started to cook something with it, you know. Right, that last cannon over there is going to need a six to hit that tank because it is obscured. We've already checked and I've moved. Oh. <laughs> Right, on to these. Right, so this unit shooting, I've used my extra explosives, which means that these four can all chuck grenades. And then I've spent one command point, taking me down to seven. I've then spent another command point, taking me down to six for, what's it called again? Uh, expert grenadiers. Expert grenadiers, which basically means that all my grenades automatically hit. And you can also reroll fail wounds. Yep, so they actually get sixes. So this is gonna be a lot of dice. But I do need fours to hit you. Fives to wound you with re-rolls. Reroll. Right, I've not got a lot here. I've only got six wounds against him. This is not before the flame has hit. And I've still got some more las guns as well. So we'll do the rest of the wounding. 
So from the Laz and the Flamers, of course, an extra three. So in total, these have got nine wounds that they need to save. Dice, needing three and needing twos. One wound. Great. Oh, them command points for one wound. God damn it. All right, so we're going to move now into the combat phase. Normally, I wouldn't show you the shooting aspect, but he's got Amulet of the Void Worm, which means you can't fire Overwatch against him. So he's now going to try and charge into them. The mortars. I do need a nine. I got a four. He's amazing. So I'm not re rolling, but the Gene Stealers, which actually, going back, we forgot to mention, I hadn't played booby traps from the uh, City Fight stratagems and actually killed two of them uh, with mortal wounds. They're going to charge in both all three units. So let's work that out. Right, so we've actually just done the combat and it's gone from this to this. So I've swept forward, basically claiming that objective. These guys have swooped in here and claimed that objective as well, because I've got at least my troops choice and I've got more troops choices within three. And uh, I'm still within three of this objective and I'm within three of this objective. So at the end of my turn, I claim four VPs. But yeah, the Gene Steelers basically just minced and murdered all of that lot. But then and now we're going to have to take a round of shooting from some primaries. Maybe even a charge or two, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe even a dreadnought. <laughs> he might decide. So going forward, I'm going to go backwards. And of course that captain got washed with flame. His cloak's probably no longer there. And he's sat there going, yeah, yeah, you buggers. <laughs> right, let's bring it on. Yeah, supposedly it's like militaristic with him being... Uh, what's the Raptors? Raptors, yeah very favoured chapter at the moment. Right, um, so that means I go up four points. So at the end of turn one, it is two points to four to me. So now we're gonna go into turn two. Right, so Ads has moved up some guys. These intercessors and the captain look like we're just basically gonna try and slow this lot down here. The dread has gone now. So this, I'm going to go through this walkway. I'm going to hit these guys. So he's ready and waiting for charging. We've done some shooting. The Luminous has opened fired. Um, that basically slammed a couple of shots into the um, Sentinel, but only managed to cause two wounds. These guys down here have also opened fire. Killed a couple more of the Brood Brothers. And the side, the captain did actually fire his combi grab and took three wounds off the Lehman Russ. So he did quite well there, he's reduced it down a profile. Uh, and the battle cannon, the battle cannon from that vehicle is actually going into the Gene Steeler. So that's why we're recording again. So it stopped still, so it's moved, definitely moved less than half. So it's 2d6 shot sensor. Oh, 12 shots. That's, that's not fair. So it's five stick because I'm obscured. He gets to re-roll his ones for Cadia. Only one. I think the minus one to hit saved me from a lot of damage there. Oh no, it's only really saved me. Yeah, saved me from about three or four. So they need twos to wound. Two wounds. <laughs> As is rodding his own dice. Uh, and I'm going to save a five. It minuses plus two for the ruins, but minus two for the thing. So I'm back up to fives again. So I do save one. So only one of the mighty, mighty morphing gene stealers has gone down so far. So the primary intercessors plunging fire down there. They're next to shoot. Ten shots, needing freeze. Rerolls one. Uh, you got a lieutenant near you, so it's wounding. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. So that's two as well, missed. So them's hit. He needs fours to wound, rerolling the ones. He's got uh yeah, reroll that. So he's got two ones. There we go. Right up. Right, he has got plunging fire from that angle. So I'm needing fives. Still save three of them. Two more stealers go down. So Ads is going with this unit of devs now. One of the plasmas can see the gene stealers over here. So that's going to fire at them. The other one is going to fire down into these guys. Because of course we can say you can look over the wall. And the two last cannons are going to try and finish off my Lehman Rust battle tank. Down at the stealers? Yep. Plasma at stealers, D3 shots. Two. Needing freeze. He's got two hits. He's going to need to freeze because he didn't declare overcharge, but I don't know that, I suppose. Two wounds. Going to need my invons of fives and sixes. Saved one, lost one. So I lose another stealer. Do you want to keep going? D3 against the other guys? Yes. 
Three shots against the other guys. I'm going to get no saves against this one because we've got plunging fire here. So three hits, two's to wound them. Two dead. I can't save any of those. Now the last cannons, one of the last cannons is going to be on a plus one. So you need a different colour. Damn. <laughs> Which one's the plus one? Green. No problem. Both hit the Lehmanus battle tank. I have not... This is going to be plunging fire as well because you're definitely more than three inches above. This is going to hurt. No wounds. He does have five command points left and he hasn't used one this yes. turn. So he's going to use one now. Down to four. He does wound with that one. Now it's a minus three, but it's a plus one to his AP for plunging fire. Because he's up here and I'm down here. So yes. So definitely going to be a minus one, and I can't get a save. So D6 damage is three. Reduces this, lad, now. Down at three. It's not looking good. It's not looking good at all, champions. Snipers is firing next. He's already fired the rocket down into the sentinel down there and didn't actually hurt it. So he's now firing four snipers into the broodlord. He's got three hits. Broodlord's toughness is five, so he's going to need fives to wound. So he's got two wounds and a mortal, because of course any sixes cause a mortal wound. Now he does have Amulet of the Void Worm, so he pluses one to his saves against ranged weapons. So he's got two four up invulnerable saves. <laughs> and I roll a double one. Well done, lads. So he's now down to three wounds. I can see him on camera. There he is. So the Hellblasters are going to fire backwards into the infantry of what's left of that squad that turned up. Go on in, sir. He didn't overcharge. He didn't no. need to. So he needs threes to hit and twos to wound. And I'll just get obliterated. That's seven. And there's only seven men left. Ah, do I take the cover? No. No, I'll just let him die. So I just managed to clear this building. I'm not sure if he's actually moved anybody over to secure his objective again. No. I think no, he's uh, he's, he's left it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to charge. Oh, right. All, so. <laughs> he's slayed them all, which has basically meant that he can't get the objective. <laughs> well, well, that's how the game works. Right, this thing. It's going to pour all of its fire into these things. Slot Gatling cannon's firing first. It is heavy, so it does need force to hit with it. Ooh, not bad. We need three to wound. Two. Now, it's a minus one, is it? Yeah. And I'm on a plus two for being in the ruins, so actually I'm on a four up save. Save them both. Oh, God. So, so far, eight? it should be, yeah, it'll be yeah. within eight there, definitely. So, what we got next? Heavy flamer. Heavy flamer, yep. D6 auto hits. Six automatic hits, so six dice, and then you freeze. That's five dice. You idiot. <laughs> uh, three of them. Again, it's a plus two, but minus one, so I need fours. Saved them all again. These gene stealers Jesus are just, Christ. just winging away through stuff. They're just like, no, we're the first cursed. We are swift and deadly. You will not kill us, sir. Fragstorm grenade launcher. There's yep. Two of them. Uh, it's okay. Assault D6. Assault D6, yep. So, first one. First one. There's one, and the second one. So, that's four shots. That is not getting the dice in this game. Strength four. Um, well, just need freeze to hit. Freeze. Yep, and then it's going to need fours to wound. Any minuses? Um, no. So, I need freeze to save. Oh, saved so far. And then the Icarus rocket pod. Yep. Heavy D3. Three of them. Uh, so it's minus one because he moved, and it's minus one to shoot ground targets with that. So he's going to need fives. One hit. No wound with that there. So the dread didn't really do much against the stealers. I've got a funny feeling the dread's going to widen that hole and then be like, yeah! Like the. Uh, oh, yeah! Oh, what do I call it? It's that Kool Aid Man. Kool Aid, yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah, just. Crashing through that wall. <laughs> yeah! Sorry, I've got very excited now. Right, three wounds left on that. We're going to go into Adza's uh, assault phase. Right, so he's managed to make it in. 
He's going to be fighting first with four attacks, if I go down the table. Uh, <coughs> he made it into the tank, but he lost two wounds to the heavy flamers. I did worry why Adam was doing that, but he said he wanted to. And then this unit here made it into these guys, but they did lose a Primaris Marine to an overcharged plasma gun. Right then, sir, so you're going to go with your dread first, did you yeah. say? Four attacks. They're One, using two. the Redemptor Fist. Yep. Which is plus two strength, minus... 3 AP and D6 is it damage. Times 2 strength or plus 2? Uh, times 2. Times 2, yeah. So, but what does he need to hit? 3's. Uh, 3's, ready out, go ahead. All apart from 1. Yeah, 3 hits. I don't know about that yet. 2's to wound. 2 wounds, and I need 2 5 up in one saves. None, so I do lose 2 guys. So his captain's attacking the Lehman Rust next. He needs twos to hit with his burning blade. He has to re-roll his ones. Yep, and then he needs, <laughs> he needs fives and sixes to wound. Oh, two of them! So he reduces the tank down to one wound left. Well done, sir. He's done more damage to that tank than your last cannon's are. <laughs> so. uh, right, Primaris Marines next. So the Primaris attacking, needing threes to hit. Four. Four, and then they need freeze to wound. Three of them against guard. Guard need, well, guard, two brothers. Two saves, Jesus. And I'll take the one wound on the heavy weapon team. So I've consolidated in, I've got nine, I'm trying to keep within six inch of him. So I've got nine in combat, and I've still got 11 less. So it's four attacks apiece, needing twos to hit. So nine guys, twos to hit. There we are. And it's going to need fives to wound any sixes he can't save. So one, two, three, four. Four sixes, uh, five sixes. Sorry, that was a four, but it doesn't matter. Five sixes, and then one, two. Ooh, hear me, man. Right, so he suffered five wounds from the sixes. Unsavable because it's minus four and his armor's three plus. And then he suffered eight wounds with a minus one. So they are saveable on a four plus. And how many wounds does that have, 12? 13. 13, oh Christ. So, have you got your dice ready? He'll he have to pitch his low dice first. Nine. Nine. Come on, lad. So he needs fours. Can I re-roll that? Yeah, yeah, that's called. Right, Same. So he needs fours, one, two. And he needs four, so them threes are also down as well. So that's going to be five plus five. That's going to be ten wounds off the dread. He's got three wounds left. He's going to be seriously hampered. Right, so he's down to three left. We actually just realised as well, while I was looking at the rules, because we never really used one of these before, that it's the heavy Gatling cannon with a, a 12 shots, not the small one. Oh, well, never mind. Right, so <laughs> let's get into Gene Steeler's turn two. So movement wise, these guys have come in, done the um, advanced movement, of course moved about another three inch forward. They opened fire using Ospec scan, killed six. Uh, Magus has managed to arrive as well. I've fallen back from here. The Sentinels have moved forward and everyone else has pretty much stayed still. The two mining lasers from here stayed still, but the rest of the unit has moved forward to try and get some shots off. I'm a bit worried about getting some shots off at them because that will uh, will cause some damage. That could actually make them you fire on a four plus, so I might change my target here. But in the psychic phase, the first psychic power I did, I regen my wounds back, managed to get three, so we were back up to four wounds. I then rolled for his smite, got a double six, so we got a perils. He suffered two wounds, but he took three wounds off that bad thing. That bad thing has exploded on a six. <laughs> so <laughs> we've measured him. And them, I've only just got my wounds back and I bet he's going to die. Them and them are suffering. Them and him are suffering. But I didn't realise with these guys, they suffered D6 mortal wounds. So, which unit first on mine, sir? The Patriarch. Patriarch. D6 mortal wounds on the Patriarch. Two. So it reduces him down to two. D6 mortal wounds on the Steelers. Flip. So I lose six of those guys. Right, so that's left me now with about five. Right, so <laughs> this unit, 
Big money. Oh, you are joking. And then the lieutenant's also within six. Oh, no! This, the walls have shielded them from the explosions. His mind bullet literally obliterated that thing, but incinerated a hell of a lot of his own guys. Damn it. So they've got one wound on him, and then you remove that figure. <laughs> and he's got one wound on him, so he's got about four left. Yeah. Is he a normal lieutenant? Yeah. So he's got about four. No, he might have three. We'll check that in a minute. And uh, that big thing there is gone. Oh dear. It's quite a bit. And the end of the psychic phase, we got mass hypnosis against these guys. Now, don't get me wrong, I like the fact that I've killed that, but it does mean that I've left myself open to a hell of a lot of. Uh, yeah, I've only got four. <laughs> so, all that shooting, which did nothing, him blowing up killed more gene stealers than all his entire army's firepower. Right, let's get some shooting done. Right, because of the massive amounts of minuses, I've just gone and done a load of my stuff and actually caused even no hits or no wounds. So these guys have fired a rocket up there, did nothing. They opened fire up there because I don't want the hell blasters to die and get a four plus and then shoot these on the way in even if I have a massive no, no system. So I'd rather them stay where they are. I've already, as meant, I've got no command points left. Um, I've still... They open fire on the tank, he opened fire on the tank, both of them's not hit, and of course they're locked in combat. I do have a pistol actually in there, so he hits, and doesn't wound with the pistol. The tank rolled back, I've got two of your flamers going against your captain, and that's seven hits. So, needing freeze to wound him. So that's another five wounds, he's got four wounds left, because we did forget he got iron resolve. So he did roll, actually, as well, to see if he got the wounds back. He didn't, but it means he's got four wounds left. So now he's got... Because he's not in cover, so it's a three plus, then it's a four plus, because it's a minus one for a heavy flamer. So he's got five saves of four plus to make, and then after that, it's a six up, feel no pain, as it were. So he's got three down, so he rolls them again. Any sixes, he'll ignore the wounds. No. No. So he's actually gone down to one... Wound remaining. <laughs> but I don't charge him. But I'm saying that. I don't think he's going to be charging any of my tanks anytime soon with one wound remaining and auto hits running everywhere. They're not going to shoot. So, it's going to be combat. Let's crack on. So, there's all sorts of different units in here. So, I'm going to go kind of like one at a time with certain guys. So, the heavy rock saw is going to go first. Needs freeze. That's for his normal claws. So, his heavy rock saw is hit. It doubles his strength, which is 5, so it takes it to 10. So that kills one with a minus 4. So that one with the 1 will die. We'll put it to one side for now. Put it down. And then that's another wound from the uh, claws, but it's a minus of 4 because it's rending claws, so you can't save it. So there's another wound on another guy. I didn't declare that those were running first, you see. So he has lost one on a 4+, plus. he gets to fight. So yeah, he would be able to fight after I've done with everybody. So, Snipper's next. And I can't remember what these do. Right, so he's going with his claw first. So his claw didn't do anything, but the rock cuts did. That's a minus of three, I believe. So, roll to save. Double check it if you do. Now, and it's D3 damage, but he's already got a wound. So that will be another one down. And then roll four. Yeah, roll to see if he goes, if you want. No, so so far you got one fighting back. So I've done the saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done the saw. I've done the cutters. And now it's the drill. And again, claw going first. Right, so that's a wound with a minus one. Do you want to do that one first? Yeah. So that's a wound. And then that one, I think, is a minus three. Yep, so that one is minus three. So you got to save a six. No, so that will be another one that's gone down. Does he get to fight as well? Yes. yes. So, so far, two. And then I'm going to roll a bunch of dice for you. They've gone. I managed to consolidate up into this lad here. Adam is using two command points to go with these first. So he's going to have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven attacks. Needing threes. Uh, 
Right. When you need falls. Oh, it's not good for me. Falls. And I need fives. Saved one. Oh dear. So he's managed to kill three, leaving one left. So I'm going to go with it. And it failed to hit twice. <laughs> Only hit once. But it did wound, and it's a minus of one. And he saved. These Primaris Marines are charmed. <laughs> They're not the ones that's going to die. But it does mean they're still locked in combat. I've got no morale to take due to the conditions of the mission. Neither of us have. So, starting with mine that didn't charge, I'm going to go with these guys. And then in one of those rare opportunities where you think, I should have recorded that because it was funny. They attacked the Marines and killed one. I did actually two wounds, so I killed one, put wound onto the other, because he'd already got one wound on. And then he attacks back and does nothing to the Brood Brothers. Absolutely nothing. So they're still locked in that haze of combat there. Nobody charged this guy, because he's got one wound left and he's surrounded by heavy flamers. What's he going to do? Although I'm saying that, they might decimate him down here. Now, he does get to fight with his banner bearer, and his attacks back have managed to kill one of the neophytes. So he's still locked in combat there. At the end, we forgot to count up Adam's points at the end of his turn, actually. I don't think he was scoring any, were you? No. Uh, at the end of my turn... This one, I think. I'm still scoring that one, and I'm still scoring that one. Um, right. So, we'll work out the VPs, but we are now going to be going into Ad's turn three. So, Ad's has kept some captains still. Uh, we've just done the movement, a little bit of shooting, they've fired the bolt pistols into that combat, managed to actually get rid of both of those guys, so it's just down to the sergeant left there. That's rocking forward, possibly to try and get out of the line of sight from that last kind of kept shooting. Um, he fell back with his banner, because why wouldn't you? And of course his uh, proper carries made sure that that objective is sustained. He fell back down here as well with these marines, they've actually moved across to the objective to try and secure it for this turn. The lieutenant's moved across probably to try and take out that gene stealer. He's firing with the snipers from here. They're all going down into the gene stealer patriarch and then the rocket is going to fire some fragmentation in these guys here. So which one's first then sir? Snipers first. So the snipers first. Did you freeze? Oh crap. <laughs> Toughness five. Come on. You are Jimmy. <laughs> The sniper's you... impact on his skin, his skin ripples and basically goes, I have adapted. <laughs> Jesus fucking... Um, rocket launcher then into these, frag missile. They are going to be obscured as well because you can't actually see... D6 shots. D6 shots. Just one. It needs a four. And it's missed. Well... That, that was successful. That was very successful. All right, some more shooting. So Captain shooting his grav gun is going to try and fire and finish off the Lehman Russ's nemesis for so many turns. In twos, both hit, needs fives. He got both through and I saw all the double six, that tank's gone. Nope, does he explode? No, oh shame. Never mind. So that tank has been blown up by the Captain. Uh, Devastator squad, sir. So, plasmas are firing first, they're firing down. Uh, 2d3 shot sensor. That's going to be a 5. It's on 3. It's on there to try and make sure that you don't hit it. Uh, 2 hits. And he's going to need 2s. So, 1 wound. I'm on five up armor plus uh, plus two for the thing, so I'm going to need a six. Nope. So that's one of them dead. And then the last cannons, you said they're going to fire at the sentinel. I'm guessing one of those is going to be plus one to hit, yep. uh, which will be green. Green one. Yeah. Damn it. So the plus one to hit still failed. Uh, freeze to wound the sentinel. Yep. It just wounded it. Six to save. It saved. <laughs> the armored sentinels again, proving their worth. <laughs> oh yeah, and one of these died. Right, so the Lehman Russ is opening fire. It can see this obscured sentinel, the one with five wounds remaining, so it's firing. Uh, last cannons and both plasmas at that, then the battle cannon is going to go against the Brood Brothers. So how many shots from the plasmas first, then, sir? Oh, only one apiece. 
the green dice in this end will represent the last cannon. It needs fives with these because he's moved. Reroll that one. So that's called. Yeah, so two of the plasmas have hit, but the last hasn't. He's going to need... No! It is turn three, actually. I forgot about that. Now. Handy having these counters, by the way, if you don't move them. I'm going to use a command point. He's going to use a single command point to reroll one of these. It's wounded. Needs a six to save. Nope. <laughs> I had to go up with someone for knocking that about, and then I had to rip myself. <laughs> so I think it's D3 damage from a plasma. One. So that goes down to four. Full D6, four shots against the Brood Brothers. Uh, all hit because there's no minuses because it's a turret weapon, and he needs twos to wound. Refreshing my dice. All right. Three of them. Uh, plus two, minus two, so I'm on to fives. And I lose two guys. It's just going to be normal, folks. Right, so we're going into charging. Uh, those are already in combat. I'm guessing the lieutenant's going to go into the Gene Stealer. Yes. Yep. And I'm guessing this captain's probably going to charge one of these. He's going to charge the, uh, the one with four wounds. Ah, right, okay. One wound left. We'll do this one on camera then. D6 auto hits. Sorry, cocked. Six auto hits. This guy, he's been running through flame all game. But he did manage to take out the tank. Freeze to wound. That's five wounds with a minus one. He's five saves a four plus. And he ignores the wounds on a six as well. Yeah, go on, yeah, yeah. One has gone through, which will kill him. His iron resolve can ignore this on a six. He's looking for a dice that's appropriate to roll. For weighted ones. No! <laughs> he perishes! It is another phase. So you could use your last re-roll if you wanted. Yes. Oh, don't listen to me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> go on. He's still dead! <laughs> but in open play, in these cards, you don't get a bonus for killing his Warlord. It does mean that his Warlord has gone. Right, let's do some more charging. So we've actually just done this combat here, and Adam failed to kill the guy because he saved, and I failed to kill him back. Oh well, never mind. Uh, we've just checked the objectives. So the centre of that objective, my Steel Legion guy, and him, this unpainted Marine here, not the blue one, they are within three, but the the other blue marine isn't. So if you would have killed him and consolidated up, he would have actually got that objective. So that was quite important. I should have recorded it, really. Right, but it does mean that he does have that objective there. And he has this objective here, which now puts him up to five. So at the moment, it's five points to add, and then six to me. Now, I have killed his warlord, but you don't get no points for that. You don't get no points for killing units. So let's take it now into my uh, turn three. Not much happening. Um, I'm saying that. This lot's just opened fire. Managed to actually get a few hits on here. Killed both the last cannons, but then Adam's one of his last cannons has opened fire and shot my sentinel and taken two wounds off it. He nearly actually killed it, which is uh, bad for me, but good for him. Some psychic phases. We did get Mike from Beyond off on this squad here. So this squad here is going to get plus one strength, plus one attack. And he failed to do mass hypnosis on the unit in front of him. Um, so we're just still just doing a little bit of shooting. We've both lost a hell of a lot of men. Hell of a lot of men have died. Um, I'm going to do some flamers. So the heavy flamer is going to go against the tank. Two hits. Needing fives. No wounds. Heavy flamer against the thingy. Three hits. Intercessors. Two wounds, but they're on a plus two and a minus one, so they're still on a two up. Space Marine Army armor in the city fight. It's pretty decent. So the Brood Brothers squad's opening fire. I'm going to roll a different colour for the plasma gun. That is firing first, technically, though. So needing fours. It is overcharging. No, I'd lose the plasma gunner. He dies. <laughs> I did get five hits. One wound with the plasma gun. Sorry, not plasma gun, normal weapons. Yep. And then the rocket is going to go into the tank. The tank is in the open, so it's just going to be a four to hit. Need a four to wound. 
Yeah. Yep, I got it. It's a five. There you go, ladies and gents. Is it a five up to save? Damn you! Last cannon then from the Sentinel. Needing a five or six. No! Objective have fired. This squad's open fire as well, but fired up a tank and failed to do anything. They also uh, had a look possibly opening firing on them. Not really. And fired a couple more pistols into these Marines and still not managed to take any of them down. So it's going to have to be a charge. Um, I don't really want to charge with a lot of stuff, but we're going to. <laughs> Uh, of course, I think they're going to charge everything up there. He's going to charge them. And uh, I think them two characters will probably charge them. And then he's going to charge that tank. And of course, got the luscious patriarch with two wounds remaining. He's going to try and charge these marines down here. Right, up here, the guys have managed to get in. Around there, we've got plenty that's got in uh, into those uh, marines there. And... I lost five wounds on the way in against that, but I still managed to get in and stop it from shooting next turn, hopefully, unless it rolls me over, it might do. We're going to show the overwatch for this one. So he's going in to the squad. It's 10 shots. Ten. Well, he's not got enough dice. Oh, dear. 10 shots. Adam's looking, looking at all the dice that he could possibly pick up. Which ones are weighted, which ones aren't? <laughs> he's been getting them wrong all game. Go on then, sir. He's got three sixes. He needs fives and sixes to wound. Come on now, Can you hear these sighs? One. I've got a four up and vulnerable save from ranged attacks. He saved it. And he barrels in with a five. So I'm going to go that way. Just to make sure I'm near that objective and I might be able to hide underneath some stuff. <laughs> oh, we're getting to the crunch. Now, there's no command points left on either side. There is no interruptions. So, let's crack on. Right, so these guys have gone in. They've also they've got one plus attack plus another strength for might from beyond. So, I'm going to go with a heavy rock saw first. Needing a uh, freeze. Shit, I've only got one. And needing twos. But it does kill a marine. These are against the devastators. Yeah. I'll, I'll keep him. You want to keep him? Yeah. Rock cutter. He's going to go against the guy. That's two hits. Needing twos. Yep, again, against the Devastators. So needing sixes now, sir. Yes! <laughs> now the Rock Drill is going to go against this guy here. So, Rock Drill. Two hits. Needs twos to wound. One wound. Um, need a six. Oh, do you know? Tell you. Right, guy with the bone sword. Four attacks, need a freeze. His strength's now going to be six, so need to freeze again. One. Only one. We're minus one, that's against him. Oh, tell you, four sixes These in a row. Aren't weighted, I right, swear. right, next <laughs> lot then. Right, so there's only one, there's a couple of guys left with like the claws. They're going to go against the devastators. And of course, Mike from beyond adding me extra attacks in there. All right, these guys have hit. Freeze to wound. So that's one six. That's one dead because he can't save it. And then another three needing four pluses. One's dead. So the Devastators will die. Now, before the Devastators die, there's three of them. So roll three, well, roll two dice for your plasmas. Four pluses, they get to fight with one attack. And the. Captain. If I actually. Yeah, roll them all together because he, he only gets one attack. Yeah. So just roll three dice, needing four pluses. So you get one attack back. Go on and sir. Uh, one th what's hit. And then you need a three plus to wound. No. So plus one to his attacks. We're going with this guy now. And he's two to hit, but he's got seven attacks because of Biomorph Adaptation. And his strength is seven. So it's two to hit. Oh my god! We called this Prosperity. Here we go. It's the first time I've ever rolled every single one to hit with the Patriarch. Now, he needs freeze to wound, but his claws mean he gets to reroll wounds, and any sixes will just annihilate the guys. So, wow. So, two Marines are dead because that's minus six and a straight three damage. So, one of them that's already got a wound on is going to be killed, and the other one is killed as well. 
Then you've got one, two, three, four, five saves with a minus three. So if you can roll your amazing sixes like you did earlier, you'll be fine. Not gonna happen. And it's D3 damage a piece as well. Five. Yep, five sixes. <laughs> no. Not one. And in fact, one, two. So right, the first one causes three, which will kill one. The second one causes one. So that kills another. And then that will kill the last one. So in actual fact, they're all dead. Woohoo! Gene Silver Patriot wades in, absolutely bosses them all, and then consolidates a little bit like that. Hey, hello! I'll take that objective, thanks, since you killed all of my little scribblings. Right, so the end of that one. I've definitely got that objective, so that's an extra point. I've got that objective, because he, uh, he's not within uh, there, so that's another point. I've not got that one, and I do have this one. So I have jumped from six to nine points in this turn. Right, let's crack on. We've got another turn to do. Let's get into We've already done the attacks back, by the way, down here. I did forget to mention. Um, so let's crack on with some more, more gaming action. So he's not falling back from out here. I don't think he can, really. Uh, the apothecary is just going to sit here like, yep, I've got this objective. It's mine. Yeah, cheers. His lieutenant's moved down to try and deal with the Patriarch. There's a good chance he will do, to be honest. Um, he's fallen, well, he's not fallen back. He's fallen out and round with the Lumen Rus. He's going forward with it. The Primaris Marine is still staying in there. He's like, yep, I'm good. <laughs> I've got one wound left. I'm fine. And it's his shooting phase. So you're shooting with the snipers first, yeah? Yep. What are you targeting, sir? Uh, two shots into that. Two sniper shots, yep. yep. And then what else are you the... firing? Other two snipers yep. into this. Okay. Then what about your rocket? The missile into. I can't. That one didn't come out. You might as well fire it down because it's got more wounds on him. That one. Yeah. Yep. Two snipers then against that one with one wound first. It's one. one hit. Oh dear. Toughness is six. He's going to need fives. No. Nope. Four. No. Nope. And he did, would have got plunging fire from that handle yeah. as well. The next one. The two snipers. Two snipers. One hit. One hit again. Yep. Yeah. It's a six. It causes a mortal wound and a normal wound. It's got plunging fire from the height advantage. Uh, not plunging fire, height advantage. And then plunging fire is a thing, so. Three. I've actually lost. It goes down. It doesn't explode, but I have lost my last kind of thing because the mortal wound plus that and the height advantage means that I've got a minus one. So he does take it out. So his rocket is now useless. <laughs> Because it impacts on the corpse of the other one. Oh well. It does mean I've only got that one sentinel left with one wound. He's not really going to be able to do much. Crack grenade. Crack grenade then, sir. I'm guessing he's going to throw a crack grenade into my patriarch. Yeah. Go on then. He's hit. And he needs strength of six. And I believe my toughness. Roll the dice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just roll the dice because I can't. I'm going to be toughness five or toughness six, but it doesn't matter. So if you're toughness six, it's still wounding it. Uh, I got a plus one in vulnerable save against ranged weapons, so I need a four plus. I do it. So he stops the crack grenade. It's going to have to be the charge. Ads face is the picture. The picture of slight disappointment in your child when it brings you a very crap picture. <laughs> <laughs> He's in. Oh, he's in. Definitely in. He's definitely in. This is the only one that's charged. Adds he's got four attacks. Needing threes because of the power fist. Oh, Jesus. One has got through, though. He needs threes to wound. We roll in the ones. He's wounded. I need a five up in vulnerable save. I did it! Done. So I survive! I'm probably going to kill that lieutenant now. But he gets to attack first. He's going to go with this one first. Go on in, sir. Needing freeze, yep. Three hits. And then he needs freeze again. Oh, one of them. His dice has been very lucky today. Uh, yep, takes one down, probably with the demo charges, since I never use it. So because of a continuation here, I'm going to go first with the... Um, yeah, the guy with the rending claws. That'll do. The icon ward. And it hits. And he murders him. M26s will just punch straight through his armor. So he's gone down. 
and then a consolidation. There we go, that'll do. Right, these lads here. So we've just done the combat here. The rock, uh, the rock saw just basically tore him. It hit twice, it wounded twice, he couldn't save against it, so it, it killed him. Right, these here, seven attacks. My warlord again, he's not missed. What is happening? You always miss me a patriarch at least once. <laughs> That will punch straight through your armor and cause three damage. He's dead. He's dead, Dave. He's very dead. So, the lesson here adds is to play with painted figures. Yes. <laughs> right. So, end of your turn. You score. None. One. One. Where is it? Oh, yeah, you score one. VP, which would take you up to six. Ooh, now, if hey. I didn't do anything, I would go up another. Oh, that was this is turn four, isn't it? Yeah. I keep forgetting. Um, if I was to do nothing, I would go up another three points. You've won. Which would take me up to twelve. You've definitely won. So I'm I'm thinking on that one there that it's going to be a victory for the Gene Stealer cult. Um, you've also not got a lot left. <laughs> You've got some snipers, which might... They're probably going to die, because I'm probably going to shift him up underneath. Yeah, fucker theory, and that's it. Yeah, and then he's going to charge them without them seeing him. Early so hopefully. Months. And then, yeah, he's got an apothecary. He's got those scouts, and he's got a Luminous Battle Tank, which he's not he's not dead, but it might be dead after this lot's are done with it, to be honest. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's wise there, sir. Wise to concede on that one there. I've just had a look, like I say, it'd be... Another three fun. points. It was uh, it was quite fun that though, playing a uh, a very sneaky stealthy army with the extra minus ones. Uh, so I was hitting, requiring to hit you on a six from shooting with some gene stealers. It was very interesting to see. The gene stealers and the patriarch down there definitely ruled the day. Uh, taking out both of those heavy weapon teams and taking out that commissar. And the redemptor's dread. Mark. And the redemptor's dread. Yeah, definitely took him out. Well, that's it then, guys. Thank you very much for watching this abomination. Uh, <laughs> uh, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button if you want to see more. We've got painting videos coming out every weekend. Uh, hopefully a news video coming out every Monday, Tuesday, sometimes Wednesday. It depends on when I get a chance to record it. And of course, we've got uh, battle reports every Thursday. If you want access to all my content early, just go over to rootstem.co.uk, pay £3 a month, and you can go and watch all of my lovely stuff. Right, thanks very much. See you next time.